Now that we have installed our Vault server onto our Ubuntu operating system, the next question comes is like how you are going to start and stop your Vault server. Before we start and stop our Vault server, there are two important modes which you need to remember. The first mode which I'm talking about is the development mode. So this mode is only meant to be run on a development machine. And the second mode which I'm talking about is the server mode which is meant to be run on a production. We will first start with our development mode and as you can see onto the screen, so this is the command which I have written vault server and hyphen dev. So which means uh, we are just going to start our vault server in a development mode. All right, so this is my terminal where I have already installed vault. So the command which I'm just gonna run is the vault server with the development mode. And it will start our vault server. And here you can see uh, it is the instruction uh, which is provided by the HashiCorp that development mode should not be used in production installation. So it is very clear from the beginning that you cannot run development mode in the production. So this is how I am going to start my HashiCorp server. All right, let's move back to our instruction guide and see what I have mentioned over there. So if you see over here, so once you start your vault server, there are four points which I have mentioned. So the first point which I have mentioned is about port, second is storage, third is unseal key and the root token. So I'm just gonna show all these four components after running uh, your vault server into development mode. All right, so the first thing is the port. So as soon as you start your server into development mode, then you can see the API address over here. So here you can see this is the port 8200. So your HashiCorp server is running on the port 8200. So that is our first component. The second component is the storage. And if you go back to the terminal, then there is a storage mode. And the storage mode, if you look carefully, then it says in memory. So that is a short abbreviation for in-memory storage. So whenever you are running a HashiCorp server in a development mode, then by default it starts in with in-memory. What does it mean? So it is going to store all the credentials and all the things in in-memory. And if you are trying to run the same server on a production or a production mode, then it is going to store all those uh, credentials somewhere into the disk or into the database. So that's the main difference of the storage over here. The next two component is the unseal key and the root uh, token. So these are the two important uh, uh, parameters or the attributes which you need to keep a note of. If you go back to terminal and then if you scroll down further then you will find the two attributes over here. So this is the unseal key and this is the string attribute over here and this is the root token at the bottom. So these are the two attributes which we are going to export later into the environment variable. And so I would recommend to keep uh, make a note of it and paste it somewhere onto your notepad so that we can use it later. So here you will notice the vault address is uh, this one http 127.0.0.1 and 8200. So this is going to be the first thing and the second is the token. So this this is the root token which we are going to export. So these are the two things which we need to export and these, this, these are the commands which I have written over here. So this is the first command for exporting the vault address and this is the second thing for exporting the vault token. And keep in mind that you need to put the same variable name vault underscore address ADDR and similarly for vault underscore token. So these are the two commands which we are going to run the next. Okay, so this is my terminal. So I'm just gonna open one more tab and I'm just gonna uh, go into that server, the Linux machine. Uh, I'll keep this tab open because my server is running over here and I have not started my server in a, uh, in a daemon thread. So that's why it is running in a foreground mode. Okay, so this is the same server, but I have opened into another terminal. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna start with the exporting. So the first command, which I'm just gonna write over here is the export wall address. And after that, I'm just gonna copy another command for exporting the wall token. So I'm just gonna paste that one over here also. After exporting both the variables, the next thing which we are gonna do, we are just gonna check the status of our vault. And the command for that is the vault status. So this is the command which we are going to run onto our terminal to verify the status of our vault server. So this is my terminal. I'm just gonna clear the screen and the command which I'm just gonna run is the vault status. And here you can see uh, this is the status and if you see the similar output over here then that means you have successfully initialized or started your vault server into development mode. 
In the next session, we'll be taking a look on how to read, write and delete secrets from your HashiCorp vault.